Hey everybody, it's Chris from Beer Bearings. Welcome back. You made it back to another beer of the week. It's Friday afternoon and I don't have any throws around me this week. So for the last couple of weeks for my videos, I've been looking at Mardi Gras related or Mardi Gras inspired beers and those were both related to specific parades. This is another one of those Mardi Gras beers, but no parade specificity this time. This is just Sidewalk Double IPA from Urban South sitting in front of me, 7.8%. It's a double IPA, it's gonna be hazy. It's got Galaxy and Nelson hops. Galaxy known for passion fruit. Nelson is gonna give you more kind of resiny flavors uh, and aromas and mostly aromas in this one. It's heavily dry hopped, which is how that haze happens. And there's a chemistry lesson there that we're probably not gonna talk about this afternoon. Uh, let me go ahead and pour it for you and tell you what I think of the aromas and the flavors. Got my favorite beer glass here, my Teku, thanks to my beautiful wife. And yeah, it comes out hazy for sure, uh, which is absolutely expected and what the brewer had in mind. So again, that haze comes from copious dry hopping. I didn't get the aroma immediately, but there it is. It comes from copious dry hopping, again, with those Galaxy and Nelson hops. I'm getting a little bit of both. Galaxy is known for passion fruit, one of my favorite hops. And there's certainly plenty of that going on here. And that kind of base note or like note right behind of all that sort of piney resin from Nelson as well. So definitely a great balance and really kind of juicy, hazy, you know, it's, it's getting into almost an orange juicy sort of level of haze or level of opacity, right? Nice head on it. I'm sure flaked wheat notes contribute a lot to that one on, in this particular beer as they do in a lot of IPAs. Let me give it a taste. Oh man, that is delicious. It's very smooth. It's actually a pretty satisfying amount of bitterness there, even though there really were no bittering hops used in this particular brew, I asked. Uh, but nevertheless, it comes through for sure. Try one more time. Yeah, really nice body. Nice sort of medium body, even for all that haze. 7.8%. You definitely get a little bit of alcohol warming out of it. So 7.8% is high enough that that you might or you might not, depending on the way the beer is made and how your palate works, start to really be able to tell there's alcohol in here, and, and I certainly can with this one. And it also leaves behind a fair, a fairly nice little bitter note uh, right at the very end. So double IPA, I think we've talked about before, certainly on the Facebook group, but if you're watching me on YouTube, maybe not. Double IPA, from a style standpoint, means anything above, above about 7% uh, to about 12% alcohol by volume. This is 7.8, so it's definitely comfortably in that range. So it's Sidewalk Double IPA. So the counterpart to this in years past for Urban South has been a beer called Neutral Ground, which refers to the other side of the parade route. So quick explanation. The Uptown Parade Route goes along St. Charles Avenue. And St. Charles, among other things, is where the streetcar line goes. Green cars, very famous, oldest cars in operation in town. And they run through the center of the lane. So there are two lanes going one direction, two lanes going the other for car traffic, and then in the center, the two lines of the streetcar, right? And they pass each other, crossing, you know, crossing going both ways. That median, which is what we would call it in most parts of the country, is called a neutral ground in New Orleans. And that's actually a story for another day. But the neutral ground is, think of it as just a median. And in the case of the St. Charles Avenue neutral ground, it also carries the streetcar line. So on parade days or parade nights, you pick a side. You pick the sidewalk side or you pick the neutral ground side. I am personally a neutral ground side person. You get a little more room to kind of spread out. There's not quite as much going on behind you. There are quite as many people kind of, kind of cramming through the sidewalk. I like the neutral ground, a little more of a party atmosphere in the neutral ground. But if you get to a parade late, maybe you can't get on the neutral ground, so you have to stand on the sidewalk side. So that's, that's kind of what that's all about. People put up chairs and spread out either way, but definitely the neutral ground side gives you a little more room to kind of be yourself, right? You can cook a little bit more and that sort of thing. So that's my favorite side. This particular one is, the, is referring to the sidewalk, also awesome. And uh, this, this one is a double IPA. The neutral ground side is more of a milkshake IPA. Not actually out yet. I'm actually shooting this on the Thursday afternoon as it comes out or the day it comes out. So I haven't tried that one yet, but I was able to get a little bit of this early thanks to the people at Urban South, which I really appreciate. 
So that's what I've got this week. This one is delicious. Again, it's got that passion fruit sort of main note going on, a little bit of uh, dank resiny ness going coming in behind it, and uh, really a nice bitterness on the back end. So nothing to complain about here. It's beautiful in the glass, nice and hazy. Uh, if you're watching me on Facebook, invite your friends to come and uh, join the Facebook group. If you're watching me on YouTube, I would sincerely appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to the channel and maybe even tap that bell so you can get notified of future videos in this series. I'll be back here again next week and look for more videos from Beer Bearings. Take care and I'll see you soon.